Okay, my name is Brad Rush. Um, today's date's May 29th, 2014. Uh, my last known location was uh, right outside of a San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, I was just kind of living there peacefully, uh, getting drunk a lot. And last night I got drunk, like always, and uh, well, I forgot what happened, and I woke up here on this tree in this creek. Um, on my person, I found uh, BDU's wrestling gear and a syringe of what looked like adrenaline or Mexican steroids. Honestly, I don't give a shit. I'll take them. Might come in handy. Um, I also found a note duct taped to my chest. No, it was a letter from uh, Matt Revel. Also known as MX5. As you probably know him. Um, basically explaining to me why I'm here. Uh, filled me in about NYE, the whole NYE thing, the whole Daniel Macabe thing, him talking shit, blah, blah, blah. He also told me that he got me really drunk last night and, uh, put me on a boat and, uh, and by boat, I mean like a very small boat, like a John boat and, uh, pushed me towards the United States of America. Um, so if I'm right and the wind direction was right and... I should be somewhere in Alabama, which is fucking scary as shit. <laughs> if you guys been to Alabama, it's uh, it's pretty dark. Um, well, when I hit shore, I must have climbed in and just kind of fell asleep on this tree. Uh, but anyways, NYE is uh, June 14th through the 16th, I believe. Uh, I wasn't gonna go this year. I I thought I was done. Um, but apparently, I'm going to have to be called back into duty one more time. Um, this will make the third straight NYE I've been to. I've only missed the first one. Uh, and this is supposed to be the last and final uh, NYE. Now, last year, NYE uh, 3, uh, Canada tried to invade. Uh, Scott Henson, um, some guy that had a hairy chest. I forgot his name. Uh, Daniel Macabe. Uh, and two other motherfuckers that I don't remember. Uh, they tried to invade last year. They had matches every day, and they got pushed back. They got pushed back to the borders and sent back to Canada. They did not win last year, so I guess they're going to try it again. Now, Danny McCabe's already been starting shit about because apparently he has a problem with me pulling a gun at NYE. Uh, last time I checked, I thought this was fucking America. Uh, I thought I was allowed to have a gun. But apparently Daniel Macabe is uh, what we call a pussy. He uh, has a problem with guns. So this year, I won't be bringing this gun, Daniel Macabe. I don't, I don't really need it, I don't think. Marcus Sintafonte, uh, Crucible, whoever books this show, whoever does that, day one, I want Daniel Macabe. I want to be the hand to cut him down. I want to be the force that pushes him back again once more. Uh, I want to be the hand that pulls this thorn out of America's side. Uh, now they said something about a title and putting it on the line. Uh, Danny McCabe, that'd be very stupid. Um, I wouldn't put it on the line because you're going to lose it. I, I've i never been in this business for belts. Uh, I don't need a piece of leather and metal or whatever the fuck they're made out of to tell me I'm the best. I already know I am. I know I'm the best from the training. I know I'm the best from uh, my past. I, uh, I'm pretty content with being the best right now without having a belt, so you don't need it. But if you have any, if you have any fucking idea or little uh, plan of bringing your fucking boys, uh, bring them, because I'll bring mine. Um, I'll have MX-5 and Alex Zane if I need them. Um, so you bring your fucking boys. Bring that piece of shit, Scott Henson. Bring that skinny motherfucker that weighs like 110 pounds soaking wet. I don't care. Bring any of them. Because I ain't afraid of any of you motherfuckers. I'm American, goddammit. And I love America. And I hate Canadians. I hate their bacon. I hate maple syrup. I hate a fucking... When I see a leaf, I get mad. But anyways... Also, fuck hockey. Fuck hockey. Fuck snow. Anyways, I'm getting out of hand here. Um, NYE's close. I don't have no car and I'm in Alabama. And I'm 
sure as fuck not get to ride with a truck driver. I ain't sucking no dick for a ride, okay? Anyways, I have a lot of ground to cover. I'm in Alabama and I have to get to Cooperstown, New York in a very short period of time, so... Daniel Bacabe, please book your flight. Please get on that plane, please fly to Albany, New York, and please convince somebody, some trader, to pick you up from the fucking airport and bring you to Cooperstown, to bring you to the fucking yard. And meet me in the middle of that ring, because... Daniel Maccabe, this is going to be the last time you enter the United States unwelcome. Next time you'll have to ask for fucking permission from me. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to get moving. I have a lot of ground to cover. Brad Rush out. Yeah, so as you see, apparently Brad Rush, who's in the middle of fucking nowhere, knows that Alex Zane apparently plans on coming to NYE. I don't know if that's true or if he's just hoping so, but, ugh, oh, I have too much to do right now. I gotta go to Alex Cross's and, and what the fuck is this? Hello? Yo, Marcus. Who is this? It's KKK, the Colonel of the Curb Stomp, the Bees Double Knees. Combination combat kit. What's what's going on? I'm busy, man. I got work to do. Listen, now that I'm confirmed for the show, NYE, I'll, I'm sure you want to know what my matches are, okay? So, day zero, Combination Combat Kid versus Daniel McCabe. No, no, he's already booked, man. Day one, Combination Combat Kid versus Daniel McCabe, two out of three falls. What? Again? Get over this. Day two, Combination Combat Kid Matt DeMorris, Danny McCabe, Deathmatch, the winner. No, 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 you listen here, asshole. What, 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 hello? All you do for NYE is talk about coming, talk about being confirmed, and then you bail at the last possible minute. And you want me to give you that? Hey, listen, man, those other years. Oh, yeah, you tell me about those other years. Those are uh, misunderstandings. No, I, you know what? You know what you need? Maybe someone needs to beat some respect into you. Yeah, yeah, I like the sound of that. Maybe someone like Mike Damage needs to beat some respect into you. Mike Damage? Yeah, motherfucking Mike Damage. You mean Mike Damage Makabe? Is that who you're talking about? Get over Makabe, jerk off, and start getting ready for the fight of a lifetime with the world's toughest little man. Now listen, I gotta go. I'll see you at NYE, apparently. No. Hello? Marcus, dude. Help. Oh, shit. Alright. Just make sure everyone's gonna get ready here. Oh, this is here. Marcus, my boy, come on in. What's up? Hey. What do you need? This is weird. I got a lot of work to do. Man. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Here's, have a seat. Want coffee, drink, cigarette, something like that? I'm good. The man gets down to brass tacks, I like it. Alright, look. As you know, we're both BLs. What the fuck does that mean? No, big leaguers. I mean, I, I mean, I, come on, come on. I know I'm the black sheep of the family. I mean, you know. What do you mean I'm not in it? That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I know I'm in it. So sorry. Look, as you know, though, NYE is my last show. I mean, you know, I've been, you know, I've been proud of myself. You know, I want to go out in my own hometown. You know, and uh, I, I, I want Scott Henson for NYE. No. What do you mean no? I mean no. All right, I know, I know. He's he's ducking. He's been ducking me for years. Okay, how about um, that's, yeah, give me um, Pac. What was his backyard wrestling name? Give give, give me Pac's backyard wrestling name. That's impossible. <laughs> okay, I can see that. You know him being with the E and all that stuff. Okay, um, how about a uh, Shocker three three three? I might be able to get you Shocker three three five, but still no. I don't want a, a different version of that. Fine, fine, fine. Give me Drew Cordero. I mean, I know he's not doing anything beyond. Give me Drew. No. Um, Kingpin. I mean, come on, he's not doing anything. I retired Kingpin. Um, uh, okay, how about Rusty? I mean, come on, I mean, we, we can get him out here for, you know, my last match. Come on, I, I want to go out with the Big Bang, come on. You want me to bend over backwards to get you your last match when for the last two years you have been making bookers bend over backwards to give you your last match? <laughs> They haven't been better. This is that. not your last match. You know it's not your last match. You say every time it's your last match. You having your last match is about as funny of a joke as me hosting the last NYE. <laughs> Come on, man. We, we you know, know that you're going to continue doing this. No, 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 I'm totally done. I'm totally done. You know you're going to keep wrestling. No, I'm not. No, no, no. You know what? I'm going to... I have something for you. What? 
What is it? I mean, like a big one on one? I mean, like main event? No, no. Big six man semi main event GBYWN world title match. I'm going to put you in that. Why? Because you're either going to win and prove to everybody that you are the superstar you think you are, you are the best in the backyard, and then you have a title to defend and it's not your last match. Or you lose like, you, like you've been losing and you're flashing the pan like everyone thinks and then maybe it's time to hang them up for real. Hey, have a good day, man. People are wondering, just wondering what happened at the end of PKM in my match. Why just join the stepdads? Why did that happen? Oh, were you starting to like me? Well, you know, once I tried to, I don't know, play to the crowd, try to make people happy, they just turned me into a paper champion. And yes, I'm talking about your United States champ. Woo! Let's put Russ in matches with people he's never wrestled before. Oh, Soy Boy? Yeah, I kind of sent him backpacking to his rap career in Florida. That didn't really work out too well, did it, Jay Free? Sorry. And then I just get the same things over and over again. People wondering, like, hey, Russ, why are your matches so short? Give me better competition. Give me people like Randa. Give me people like Matt DeMorris, Marcus Santafonte. Oh, Russ isn't quite on the same level. You're right. I'm above it. I don't accept history. I make it. If you don't give me your attention, I'll take it. Okay, I'm back, guys. I've been getting all over the place here. So, you just heard from Russ, and he's not that happy. He's sick of not getting an opportunity to show just how good he is. Well, at NYE, he's going to have that opportunity when he defends the United States Championship in a fatal four-way against Ian Finnegan, Mercury, and Omega. And that's not the only four-way that's going to ah! Match! I want to know my match! Calm Where's down. my match? Calm down. I'll tell you your match. I say knowledge! Just let me get the book, man. Jesus Christ. All right. Your match is going to be... Sean. Sean. I guess Sean isn't as excited to hear about his fatal four-way with him, Ryan Brody, Ryan Rage, and Mike Wilde at NYE4. Now let me tell you the last Fatal 4-Way match that's going to be going down on day one of NYE. This one has potential to be a match of the day candidate. It's going to be Crucible Chris Ambrose versus Tommy Flambeau versus Mark Electric versus the young up-and-comer Timfamous Tim Rush of 3BW. And that's only going down at NYE4. IT'S GONNA BE AWESOME! Get out of my house. NY4. NY4. <laughs> Come on, be there. Not just me. All the radical movement elite. Myself. Or Douglas. You can't really do much, but... Chris Urban will be there. Chris Urban will be there. To make sure... Nobody gets in my way. Ah, when I get my moment in the spotlight. See? You're self-made man, Sam Jude. You're the GBYWN World Champion! You did it all by yourself, right? You made the legend. You made it happen, right? I mean, you were the one that... Got your ass down here to BXW at, after uh, I asked you to come. But you, you made your way down here. You get all the credentials, the GBYWN World Pure Champion. And, you know, with the uh, tournament I signed for RCWA. You got, you got the belt. You made your way down to BXW goodbye with all the fanfare. You defend the championship against my damage, per order of me.
But he defends against mic damage. Take him on. And even though in defeat, you were more motivated than before to take on Matt DeMorris. Because I might have done a fast count. That might have been my... No, 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 no. You were already motivated, right? Self-made man. Already motivated. Already ready to take on Matt DeMorris for the GBYWN world title. That I signed for. No, 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 no. You did it. You did all of that, self-made man. You won the championship. You took it back to the United Kingdom. I, I want it back. <laughs> I want it back here. See, I that title belongs here in the greatest wrestling country in the world, the United States of America. This is where Backyard Wrestling thrives. This is where the GBYWN was formed. This is where that title belongs. And you know, my my Rackle Moomin Lee members will be there to watch me and cheer me on. But uh, you know, you're, you're a self-made man. I mean, how? How can someone like me, I'm just a businessman, how can, how can I be you, right? You know, it's not like I made you, it's not like I can break you. And why for? Let's have some fun, huh? Trust me. <laughs> And stay out, man! You guys just heard from Rad Hazard, who has added his name to the list for superstars challenging Sam Jude in the GBYWN World Heavyweight Title six-man match. Sam, your list of enemies is growing. Two spots remain open. Who will fill those spots? You have to wait till NYE to find out. And it's just a few days away. I'll tell you who's not filling the spot in that match. His name is Perfection. Perfection, a man who has main evented all three NYEs and has won the main event of all three NYEs. Perfection is a beast. But we were recently sent a video from a huge superstar. This video, very short, but is going to shatter the face of NYE4. I'm buying time right now because I'm looking, I'm looking at my editing guy and he seems to be having trouble, man. Dude, what are you doing? Searching. Okay, you, you, you better search faster, man. You gotta find that shit. File found. All right. Well, download that shit. Downloading file now. Okay. This video is coming. It's coming, guys. Twenty percent. It's coming, guys. Thirty-seven percent. Sixty-nine percent. Is it? Could it be? Eighty-two percent. Oh my god! It couldn't be. Ninety-six percent. J motherfucking Crypter. Fashion. We'll see about that. J mother fucking Crypter versus Perfection. My phone is going off. I'll say that one more time. It's probably someone trying to get a booking. J Crypter versus Perfection at NYE4. If that's not the last bit of hype you need, let me do this one for you. Alex Zane, I need to know if you are coming to NYE. I'm sick of getting interrupted by people. I'm sick of you ignoring me. I need to know. Marcus Santafonte, been uh, texting you. you. Haven't really been replying to that. Messaged you on Facebook, you didn't reply to that. So I figured, may as well use a video. Closest thing I can get to face to face. Uh, excited for NYE. Happy for you. Uh, NYE's always a great time. Uh, saw a video that I really didn't care for, though. Uh, I believe he called out Zane. At NYE4, I want to match with you, Zane. And I know you're supposed to be retired. You're supposed to be done with wrestling. I've seen them all go, and I've watched them all come back. Zane, it's a matter of time. Uh, kind of rubbed me the wrong way, man. Not gonna lie. Uh, part of me is excited to see that match. The other part of me is kind of insulted. You know, I... I spent so much time trying to get Zane to wrestle me uh, in a rematch for a 2007 match. Calling him out in a video, trying to get a response. Kind of like what I'm doing here. Uh, he didn't reply. So I figured I'd make an impact. Uh, so I attacked him from behind at NYE 3. Uh, went suddenly enough. Get him to accept. And he did. So we had a match. 
And uh, it was one of the most grueling matches I've ever been in. Career versus career. We were fighting with everything on the line. I came down on my head on concrete. You know, I have head issues. I got a cut in the shoulder that cut me so deep, it cut my rotator cuff, and it's still giving me problems to this day. I mean, I was leaning over the top rope, and he did a backflip on my back. I had back problems, man. Like, it's, it had a lasting impression on me, is what I'm saying. And even though it didn't go the way I wanted, and I'm sure it didn't even go the way he wanted, we were happy with what we did. Because a lot of people enjoyed it. And uh, we told each other, you know, even though we both wanted to go a separate way, we were proud of what we did. And we wanted it to mean something. So we promised not to go back on our word. If we did, that match meant nothing we even got we even got matching tattoos, man. To to promise each other that even though this was a setback, we're only going to be working on the future, man. Uh, if he goes back on the word that he formed with me, well, that's going to make him feel guilty. You know, if he upsets you, he's going to feel guilty. The point that I'm making is no one wants to feel guilty when it comes to friends. Um, and I see you calling him out for a match, and you said that. People are always dying for you, and uh, now it's the first time no one is. I'm, I've always said, if the same thing happens twice, it's a coincidence. Happens again, it's a pattern. Happens again, it's a program. And I think you're in this mindset that you think it's a program, that it's what you expect. You wake up every day thinking it's going to happen again, but I think you're stuck in this rut. You need to get out of it, man, because you're losing it. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe deep down, psychologically, you never wanted to be this grizzled old vet. The godfather of this community. The dawn father, if you will. Uh, maybe you just want to have your swan song right off into the sunset. Maybe you don't know how. Maybe you expect someone to come challenge you. You know, like that old dog that, uh, it's time to put down. Maybe Marcus Santa Fonte wants someone to take him out back. Maybe put, put him down. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Maybe that's what you expect. Maybe that's what you need. Marcus, uh, Don. Maybe this is just like a bad dream or something. Maybe that's it. Maybe this is just a bad dream that he thinks he's in. And he doesn't know how to get out of it. He needs to, doesn't know how to smell the roses. Marcus, you just need to wake up, man. Get your stuff together. Because this... This Marcus, this Donovan... This, this is embarrassing, dude.